It has been one of the biggest mysteries in astronomy, does Planet 9 exist, and what is it? Now, astronomers at Lund University in Sweden show that it is highly likely that the so-called Planet 9 is, in fact, a exoplanet. They believe it was stolen by our Sun as it moved past in early in the universe's evolution, and has been a part of our solar system completely undetected ever since. This would make it the first exoplanet to be discovered inside our own solar system. It is almost ironic that while astronomers often find exoplanets hundreds of light years away in other solar systems, there's probably one hiding in our own backyard, says Alexander Mustill, astronomer at Lund University. The theory is that our Sun, in its youth some 4.5 billion years ago, stole Planet 9 from its original star. An extrasolar planet, or exoplanet, is by definition a planet located outside our solar system. Now it appears that this definition is no longer viable. According to astronomers in Lund, there is a law to indicate that Planet 9 was captured by the young Sun and has been a part of our solar system completely undetected ever since. Stars are born in clusters and often pass by one another. It is during these encounters that a star can steal one or more planets in orbit around another star. This is probably what happened when our own Sun captured Planet 9. In a computer simulated model, Alexander together with astronomers in Lund and Bordeaux has shown that Planet 9 was probably captured by the Sun when coming in close contact while orbiting another star. Planet 9 may very well have been shelved by other planets, and when it ended up in an orbit that was too wide around its own star, our Sun may have taken the opportunity to steal and capture Planet 9 from its original star. When the Sun later departed from the stellar cluster in which it was born, Planet 9 was stuck in an orbit around the Sun, said Must Hill. There is still no image of Planet 9, not even a point of light. We don't know if it is made up of rock, ice, or gas. All we know is that its mass is probably around 10 times the mass of Earth. It requires a lot more research before it can be ascertained that Planet 9 is the first exoplanet in our solar system. If the theory is correct, Alexander Mustill believes that the study of space and the understanding of the Sun and the Earth will take a giant leap forward. This is the only exoplanet that we, realistically, would be able to reach using a space probe, he says. The article is published in monthly notices of the Royal Astronomical Society Letters. At the start of this year, a team of U.S. researchers predicted the existence of a mysterious ninth planet in our solar system much to the cynicism of other experts. Since then theorists have puzzled over how this planet could end up in such a distant orbit. One theory claims that it formed close to the Sun and was kicked out by the gravity from the gas giants. The unknown world, dubbed Planet 9 by some and Planet X by others, is thought to be ten times more massive than Earth and the furthest planet from the Sun, but its exact location is unknown. The planet is predicted to circle the Sun at a distance of about 40 billion to 140 billion miles, 24 billion to 87 billion km, placing it far beyond all the other planets in our solar system. Now physicists at the Harvard-Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics looked at the most likely scenarios for how a planet could get to such a distant part of the solar system. They found it is probably a gas giant that formed close to the Sun and was kicked out by a series of gravitational pushes by nearby planets. In January, a group of U.S. researchers at the California Institute of Technology published a paper suggesting the existence of the extra planet. The evidence points to Planet 9 existing, but we can't explain for certain how it was produced, said Dr. Gong Ji Li, lead author on one of the papers. Dr. Lee and her colleagues carried out millions of computer simulations in order to consider three possible scenarios. The first and most likely scenario involves a passing star that tugged the planet further away. According to the researchers, this would nudge the planet into a wider orbit and also make the orbit more elliptical. When the Sun formed it was part of a star cluster with several thousand neighbors which means interactions with nearby stars were more common in the early life of our solar system. But although this is possible, the probability of it happening is unlikely. If a star did affect the planet's gravity, it is much more likely the planet would have been completely kicked out the solar system. The researchers found a 10% probability, at best, 
of the planet landing in its current orbit, and even then it would have had to start at an improbably large distance to begin with. Dr. Scott Kenyon, lead author of two of the papers, said the most likely explanation is that it was kicked out by other planets and not a star. The simplest solution is for the solar system to make an extra gas giant, said Dr. Kenyon. He suggests the planet formed much closer to the Sun and then interacted with the other gas giants, particularly Jupiter and Saturn. A series of gravitational kicks then could have boosted the planet into a larger and more elliptical orbit over time. Think of it like pushing a kid on a swing. If you give them a shove at the right time, over and over, they'll go higher and higher, said Dr. Kenyon. Then the challenge becomes not shoving the planet so much that you eject it from the solar system. That could be avoided by interactions with the solar system's gaseous disk, he said. The nice thing about these scenarios is that they're observationally testable, Dr. Kenyon said. A scattered gas giant will look like a cold Neptune, while a planet that formed in place will resemble a giant Pluto with no gas. External astronomers admit even the original paper published in January is very theoretical, and does not confirm the existence of a ninth planet. The paper is dot 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 all modeling. It might be there, it might not be, Monica Grady, professor of planetary and space sciences at the Open University told Mail Online. A group of physicists in France also looked at their own models, along with data from the Cassini spacecraft, to narrow down the search for the giant stellar body. There is one location, identified by a group French researchers in a paper published in March, where if Planet 9 exists it would explain the distance between Earth and Saturn slightly better. The group used data from NASA's Cassini spacecraft measuring the distance between Saturn and Earth. No one would look at the Cassini data and say there must be a Planet 9, Professor Mike Brown, Professor of Planetary Astronomy at Caltech, who originally reported finding Planet 9 in January this year, told Mail Online. But you might consider a Planet 9 and then realize it makes the Cassini data ever so slightly better. Cassini's mission is planned to end in late 2017, when the spacecraft, too low on fuel to continue on a longer mission, will plunge into Saturn's atmosphere. While the proposed planet's existence may eventually be confirmed by other means, mission navigators said they have observed no unexplained deviations in the spacecraft's orbit since its arrival there in 2004. But if the planet is where the French researchers predicted, other instruments might be able to help find it. The Dark Energy Survey is a Southern Hemisphere observation project designed to probe the acceleration of the universe that started in 2013. It was not designed to look for a ninth planet, but by chance it is already looking in the right direction, according to the Cassini data. It turns out fortuitously that the favored region from Cassini is smack dab in the middle of our survey footprint, said David Jurds, who is working on the cosmology survey. We could not have designed our survey any better.